In this video, um, I'm going to show you that I have updated APN's PHP file with correct uh, username and password to the database. And um, I have uploaded uh, APN's file uh, to the server. So here we go. So I have database uh, connection object that accept localhost and then uh, username and password to the database and then uh, database name. So if I switch to my browser window, I have PHP, my, my PHP my admin running, and this is my uh, my photo app database with two tables, devices and messages that are empty. And uh, I'm going to be connecting to this uh, database with this username and password. The username and password are going to be changed because I'm constantly uh, starting and terminating my uh, Amazon server and then I uh, generate um, username again. So don't try to copy them. You will not be able to connect uh, with uh, these credentials. Okay, and once it's uh, once you set correct username and password, you should be able to connect a register a device. So I will upload a new file to my server. And now if I run my application in Xcode, I should be able to register this device with all of these details uh, in my database and have all these fields, uh, all these fields populated. So let's try that. Okay, we've got token data, I'll play it. There is no error message, very good. And we've got response. And if I just play it, um, there is uh, an empty response, which is very good, no error messages. If I play it, uh, that's it. So um, theoretically, our application should be registered with our scripts. And if I go and click on APN devices, I see that there is one record. Very good. And we've got a uh, unique ID and we have application name, version, device ID, token iPhone, so everything, everything is looking good. Badge, alert, sounds is registered, and we are in development. I mean, the development mode is sandbox, which is correct. If we wanted to switch this mode to um, to uh, a production, uh, I would double click on the value and I could simply change it to production and save it. But it won't work because now we are testing and we need a sandbox to be uh, here. And the status is active. I think it will change to uninstalled once application is uninstalled from the device, uh, which is also very helpful. We can see um, who or uh, which device uninstalled our application. So this is it. And we are almost ready to start sending uh, push messages uh, to this device. So let's continue.